My name is Abhinav Bindra, and it is a huge honor to represent the delegation from India for the right to host the IOC session in 2023 in the city of Mumbai. Our delegation is led by IOC member Mrs. Neeta Ambani, along with IOC member and president of the Indian Olympic Association, Dr. Narendra Batra. To begin proceedings, I would like to invite the first lady of Indian sport, Mrs. Neeta Ambani. Mrs. Ambani is deeply committed to the elevating role sport and Olympism can play in our society. It is truly an honor to lead the Indian delegation today and share our passion and our ambition for hosting such a prestigious Olympic event. This will be the first IOC session in India in 40 years. Since we last had the honor of welcoming the Olympic family, we have made consistent strides and grown into a more prosperous, more self-confident India. Throughout the pandemic, sport has been a source of hope, joy, entertainment and motivation to the people around the world. As we enter the post-pandemic world, with optimism, sport will continue to inspire us and lead us with its invaluable life lessons. With one foot rooted in our cultural traditions and the other leaping up to embrace modernity, India's next generation is brimming with a billion hopes and dreams, driven by the potential and the power of creative energy. I truly believe India is on the verge of creating something very special with the Olympic movement. Together with you, we want to open the doors of opportunity to millions of young Indians. It is time to write the future of sport and ignite our potential with the spirit of Olympism. India is scaling new heights in every field, including Olympic sport. Nearly half of India's population, over 600 million, are under 25 years of age. This makes India one of the most crucial and exciting places to nurture and grow the Olympic movement. Yes, it is our aspiration to host the Olympic Games in the future. The IOC session in 2023 in India will be a catalyst that will ignite this ambition into action. India is a melting pot of multiple cultures and incredible experiences. India is a journey you can't complete in one lifetime. With great joy, I invite you to begin your journey to incredible India. The Indian government has a vision of India becoming one of the world's leading sporting nations. Our efforts to fulfill this vision are very well underway with several sports development programs across the country. Our talent pool is growing with the support of our robust education system and various government initiatives to elevate sport from a part-time passion to a full-time profession. It is my firm belief that the Olympic movement can help accelerate our vibrant nation in the right direction. Hosting the IOC session in 2023 will demonstrate our ambition and elevate the potential of our partnership. Rest assured, that the government of India will do everything in its power to ensure you have a wonderful experience during the session. So dear friends, I look forward to having the honor of welcoming you all to Mumbai in 2023. In recent years, India as a nation has embraced sports and fitness. There is a strong belief that sports can provide fundamental shift in our society. We are already working with the government and the private sector and I am pleased to report that the stakeholders share a commitment to make the IOC session in Mumbai a truly memorable experience. Hello and welcome to this very special conversation with three of India's legends on a momentous day for Indian Olympic sport when Mrs. Ambani was speaking in that virtual session which I was watching live on IOC media and when she said incredible India, Indian stadium I went back two years to a conversation we'd had with her when she said you know what 
my dream is to bring the ioc session then the youth olympic games and then of course the olympics and the paralympic games today we have the first step achieved well done mrs ambani well done to the entire indian contingent mrs ambani narendra batra of course uh, sports minister anurag thakur and abhinav bindra to talk about the significance of what we've achieved today three absolute legends prakash padukon at a time when india did not know how to win taught us how to win deepa malik you know every time deepa ji and i talk olympic and paralympic sport went a step further when deepa malik threw that 4.61 shot put in rio and since then has inspired 19 medals in tokyo and sunil chetri every time i watch sunil and i'm like i still have hope left sunil chetri a living embodiment of hope in india that everything is actually achievable to talk about this momentous occasion prakash sir why don't you go first what does this mean to you well i think it's a great day for uh, for indian sports uh, especially the uh, you know the olympic sports um, you know i think uh, as we all know uh, india is a cricket crazy uh, country and uh, you know i think maybe until about 10 years back uh, there was not enough importance being given to the olympic sports uh, but i think all this has changed over the last uh, let's say 10 15 years and i think this will be a big uh, boost for for olympic sports in the country and uh, uh, i think it it's a, it's a step in the right direction okay okay sunil on that note step in the right direction i know what amount of effort mrs ambani and her team has put in to be able to achieve that as india's ioc member big moment for each one of us being part of the entire sporting ecosystem sunil chetri indeed it is uh, and also i think it's coming at the right time after the outstanding performance of our athletes in both paralympics and the olympics i think it's in a very very uh, sweet moment uh, now just the awareness to all the country will 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 improve uh, will magnify which is what we need you know at the at the end of the day we are 1.4 billion people there is no dirt of talent these kind of big news just helps to make sure that everyone understands it the importance to sports right from the very basic uh, fundamental step to the bigger ones of getting these kind of meetings come to our country is going to galvanize the sports completely in our nation it is absolutely a brilliant news deepa ji i mean a, le- a, a woman leading the olympic movement bringing this outstanding news for olympics and paralympics and as sunil said ioc session we will have the world's best sporting administrators federations chiefs and obviously the next step will be the youth games all of us now know that deepa malik for you this takes back to uh, me to the day when we were invited uh, for a dinner at antalya this is ambani had hosted that and invited all the paralympians and olympians it was also the day when mr thomas bach was here and uh, a lot of leading citizens of the country whether it was actors olympians ratan tata ji himself was there and everybody had spoken on that podium and requested that you know we want to have uh, youth olympics here we want to do this and it is so overwhelming to see that today finally uh, all those things are coming true because the first request the day it was made i was there and to see it turn into a reality personally me as an athlete and then me as an administrator leading a federation uh, it's uh, an absolute moment of joy especially so because now that i see the paralympic moment is getting integrated with the olympics uh, even internationally and even nationally so definitely it will give um, a parallel boost uh, to the paralympic moment also in india and uh, congratulations to batra ji to neeta ambani ji sports minister sir and definitely um, kudos to abhinav for getting this to india this is going to boost uh, the current momentum and the love for sports and the olympic sports that has begun with rio moving on to tokyo and uh, this is the best time that this could have happened to us so it is not about medals it is never about medals the the point is to make us i mean we have progressed so far in alphabetical literacy and numerical literacy it is also about physical literacy when a thing like this happens the ioc comes here 
and we all of a sudden watch a prakash padukone deepa malik a sunil chetri and we consume them and our children are like oh you know what i can be the next deepa malik i can be the next prakash padukone i can aspire to be the next sunil chetri and that's what today mrs ambani anurag uh, dr batra and uh, abhinav were able to do bring the ioc session star national consciousness your thoughts medals will the by product but we are moving to the right direction I think if you ask me the real hope and the real dream is every kid in our nation who is talented to be identified at the right age given the opportunity ample opportunity that whatever we as a nation can do and then just rest and relax because then the medals the by product would be humongous just imagine what we could do with whatever we have done for sports in our country in this olympic and now imagine when we make sure that every every talent pool of our nation right from every nook and corner is given the right atmosphere the, the 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 girls and the boys just imagine what we can achieve because that's what a, a country like usa china who do really well one of the components is a bigger pool to choose from and that's what we have but we don't we don't and, and, and it's a fact that we don't but with these kind of news with these kind of upliftments that's what we 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 need to aspire to achieve because once we do that we will not be saying this that medals are just something we will be talking about how many medals we got plus me bori on that okay prakash ji exactly what sunil said tokyo has created that ground swell london you had a medal rio you had a medal tokyo you had a medal and in para you had five medals in badminton so talk about how important that was for you as as a legend of the sport prakash parukul prakash ji i'm new yeah. yeah go on yes um i think uh, uh, medals of course are important but uh, i think hosting uh, an event like this uh, i think it, that that that's more important i think we are trying to get the youth olympics uh, uh, you know to the country uh, maybe in the near future and if that happens uh, i'm sure uh, that will be a big step uh, you know for uh, for the olympic sports uh, more and more youngsters will will take to the sports and with the support from the government you know they are they are encouraging uh, sports a lot of foundations uh, have come up uh, you know to to support uh, not only the elite athletes but also you know at the grassroots level because all these years we've just been talking about uh, you know supporting grassroots level talent but uh, nothing much was done but in the last uh, couple of years uh, i think there's been a marked difference uh, both from the government and the private foundations and uh, you know holding events like this uh, would definitely be a big boost uh for the for all the olympic sports uh, in the country before i go to deepa and sunil prakash ji in your own sport we have seen a revolution i mean we have seen the number of people playing the sport has increased 20 times 30 times how do you see in your own field a news like this how will it inspire uh, the future stars well i think uh, badminton players as it is are doing well so i think uh, you know something like this would Uh, definitely and as i entirely agree with you you know i think nobody has uh, an idea of how many times uh, you know more popular it has become uh, probably uh, you know it's probably become the second most popular sport in the country today uh, maybe after uh, you know after cricket it, you know whether it's in terms of uh, international uh, you know doing well at the international level whether in terms of uh you know the elite athletes uh, getting support uh, you know uh, getting recognition both in the press and you know endorsements uh, you know domestic tournament number of new infrastructure which is coming up in tier 2 and tier 3 cities because you know i've been very actively involved in uh, yeah. you know in, in the promotion of sports so every day we get you know couple of uh, you know uh, people saying that uh, you know they built new facilities and you know they want to tie up with different academies so it shows the popularity of the sport and uh, you know if we were to uh, you know the uh, with the you know with the olympic session happening here and if the youth olympic uh, games happening uh, it will definitely be a very big very big boost uh, not just for indian sports but definitely for badminton uh, you know for, for sure okay deepa ji <clears throat> excuse me you know when we talk about administrators and here i am talking to deepa malik the the head of the paralympic committee of india administrators are there to be to be criticized in a sense when you every time you are like a wicket keeper when you drop a catch focus goes to you if you take a catch it's expected if you if you do not make a mess of the job that you are in we will not talk about you but in that sense that delegation today the way they presented the way they showcased mumbai the way they showcased india 
मिसेस अंबानी अभिनव डॉक्टर बत्रा ऑफकोर्स अनुराग ठाकुर क्रेडिट वे ड्यू द सिनर्जी बिटवीन बिटवीन द फोर ऑफ देम government non government individual athletes a leading administrator was spectacular to see deepa manik see the fact that we have uh, got the bid with 99% of votes Correct. speaks of the kind of faith development and the focus that has now come to our nation as a developing sporting nation as a nation which has finally come to love sports and has uh, created a ripple around the world so um i think this speaks of the great vision and a common dream when everybody is moving in the same direction with the same synergy with the same passion with the same love uh, the result is evident like you said an administrator government athletes uh, when everybody has come together a leader uh, of a federation in india and the result is so so encouraging and see when 1982 asian games happened in india india learned to love sports 2010 commonwealth games came to india it created further progress towards awareness and i think as far as para sports is concerned if there were no integrated uh, uh, competitions in the same ground in the same stadium when commonwealth games happen they are integrated everything happens together not one after the other that itself gave a jump start to the visibility of para sports so when such an event is going to happen even when the seminar is going to happen i think it will have such an amazing impact whether it impacts the policies i think the bureaucrats administrators politicians government will be now more focused on sports budgets sports uh, policies will become better we will start talking about infrastructure because if we are conducting an in the, uh, the international olympic session here definitely we are going to improve on our infrastructure the thought thought is going to get focused and when definitely when a uh, competition is organized automatically i think it will also help uh in the csr funding sponsorship towards sports because that is one thing we as para sports battle okay uh, i'll i'll take, take it yeah. from there to sudeel deepa ji i mean sudeel just just for the record india has historically hosted one ioc session and that was when prakash sir was dominating the indian sportscape in 1983 i was reading my documents today and i have written about it in my book on the history of india's olympic encounter ivan antonio samaranch had organized that that was in delhi in 1983 so 40 years later an ioc session is coming to india point number 1 point number 2 deepa ji alluded to the vote sunil 76 people voted one abstention 75 sorry one against 75 for mumbai so 76 votes 75 to mumbai tells you sunil how important is it according to you as an elite sportsman for even an ioc because you talk about a global movement right you have not come to the indian subcontinent the missing piece of that puzzle as far as the ioc is concerned so i'm sure they would also want to embrace this indian indian push sunil chatri yeah not only that we also show the trust which is very very important and of course we we did really really well to get that number of votes just tells how how competent they think about us or it just just the the trust that we have you know and that's what we need going forward and when you get this kind of big news in the in the country and when it trickle down to right from the last athlete the young kid it has an exponential effect for me it is just about making sure my country becomes more sports oriented because i always said this a little bit out of topic that this is one of the best holistic ways to improve a kid so just that impact of getting this big news when it trickle downs to all the kids who want to play who have the talent is going to be huge and story and steadily you will not see a jump now but when you compare the next 10 years boria it will be huge just imagine that every kid wants to play has the opportunity to play do well what uh, ma'am just spoke about making sure that there's a lot of funding a lot of infrastructural development and then you will see we can we can achieve so much because we do, we do, we shouldn't forget we are such a huge nation with such a diverse talent pool and we'll do well in all the sports 
we won't be talking about this sport or that sport or this sport dominating or that sport. Dom- we will be talking about a country who does really well in all the sports. Look at China or America or Australia. We want to, we aspire to become a sporting nat- a country like these countries and do well. Okay, last five minutes on my show, Sunil Chetri mentioned this point about, he said, digress? No, that was the moot point. Make India a sporting nation. Not everybody will be a Sunil Chetri or a Deepa Malik or a Prakash Padukone. Not the need. The need is we need to try. We need to play the sport. Sport for all and sport for development is good enough. Not simply elite sports people, but sport for all. Sunil Chetri, last five minutes on my show. Closing comments for each one of you. Do you believe? With this, it is the start that we will ultimately get to host first the Youth Games and then the Olympic and Paralympic Games. Do you believe that we're going to see that in the next decade and a half? Am I going first? Yeah, you go first. Uh, yeah, you yeah, go first. Yeah, yeah. I'll go last then. Okay. Seniors. Okay. Chalo, let's go with Prakash sir. I, I, no one's calling you old Prakash sir. Sorry about that. No, no, no. no. <laughs> but are you going to see the Olympics, Paralympics soon? What is your thought? Well, Youth Olympics, uh, definitely, I think we'll be hosting. Uh, I'm very sure about that. Uh, you know, maybe if you had asked me the same question, uh, let's say 15 or 20 years back, I would have said no chance. But now, you know, uh, uh, the kind of importance, uh, you know, being given by the government and, uh, you know, there's so much of awareness, sports awareness amongst the people, amongst the public. I think that that's very important, uh, you know, for IOC to, to take a decision. Uh, so I'm sure the you know the the day is not far off. It may not happen you know in the next uh, you know two or three Olympics, but uh, definitely we are uh, we are in the running, and uh, it won't be long before uh, you know we host uh, you know the regular Olympics also the summer. Fantastic, Deepaji. Yeah. You know Thomas Bach personally. You know Nita Ambani personally. You know Dr. Batra personally. You know the IOC. Now tell me, 28 and 32, okay, but are we seeing 36? Is that a possibility? 40, is that a possibility? And of course, the Youth Olympic Games will make a fundamental impact. Deepa Malik. I definitely see uh, 2036 because I saw the confirmation of a vision in the eyes, in the voice of Nita Ambaniji when she spoke that evening when I was with her on the same subject. She has, uh, it makes me very proud as a woman that in her leadership, uh, this such a historic decision has come to India. We have won the bid. And uh, when anything happens around the Olympics or the movement of Olympics, I know that Paralympics is not far behind because this is our new India. We are in true sense celebrating the Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. My new India will be a sporting nation because the medals that we win do not depend uh, on uh, you know um, the, the 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 reflection of a nation does not belong in the medals won but it it depends the medals depend on the number of people play the playing population of the country and these kind of things and these kind of uh, sessions and mm-hmm. these celebrations is going to make india uh, a better and a richer sporting talent pool and a sporting nation. Okay, so more inclusive, more gender equal and clearly a better country. That's what Deepa Malik says. Sunil Chetri, she made the ISL possible. And now, obviously, I mean, as I said, two years back when we were talking in that geo building and she said, you know what, I want to bring the Youth Olympic Games. And I was like, okay, the Olympic Games. Okay, but yes, steps are being taken, directions we are in the right direction, Sunil Chetri. So clearly, you are the youngest among all of us. So take it from here. You are definitely going to see the Olympic Games and the Paralympic Games and of course the Youth Olympics. Sunil, you have the last one. Yeah, unlike Sir and Madam, I, I'm, I'm not skillful enough to give you a date. But I, it, it, it feels really great to have leaders who are not going to leave any stone unturned to bring it. I'm just going to play my part. And I urge all the players, all the coaches, the media guys, I mean, the fans, everyone to play their part. And all together, it's going to be sooner than we, what we expect. Fabulous. So, Mrs. Ambani, Abhinav Bindra, Narendra Batra, Anurag Thakur, every Indian, and of course, Sunil Chetri, Deepa Malik, Prakash Parukon, on behalf of everybody, everybody, Abhinav's line, and Olympic Games doesn't come every four years, it comes every day. Let's start the every day. Mrs. Ambani's vision, the Youth Olympic Games, and then the Olympics and Paralympics. And as everybody said, towards a better India, a more physically active India. The journey has started. 
each one of us are stakeholders. Thanks to everybody for making it possible. And to my panelists, Sunil Chetri, Deepa Malik, Prakash Padukone, thank you very much. On the other side, we've spoken to many of our athletes, Apulela Gopicha, uh, Gaurav Khanna, all of our Paralympic badminton champions, uh, Devendra Jhajaria, uh, Anju Bobby George, all of them coming for you. Thank you very much and watch the other side because this is a momentous day in the history of India's Olympic sport. The journey has begun. I think it's a giant stride forward and in every sense it truly is for Olympic sport. I think for us, we've seen what has happened in Tokyo, the kind of momentum it has given to us and this is a great step forward and I'm sure with all of the International Olympic Committee members coming here and taking stock of the progress which we have done, I'm sure this will bring forward many more things in the future, whether it's the Youth Olympics or whether it's the Olympics in the future. I think this will be a great help forward. And I would really like to thank Mrs. Ambani, our Sports Minister Anurag Thakur and Mr. Narendra Batra for making the efforts to bringing this event into India. A great news heard that India is going to organize uh, International Olympic Committee meeting in India in 2023. And I'm really uh, pleased to uh, know that our Sports Minister Anurag Thakur sir, uh, the Chairman of Alliance Foundation, uh, Nita Mani ji, and of course uh, Narendra Patra ji, who is IOA uh, President, is meeting today. Definitely, it would be a mega event after uh, 2010 Commonwealth Games. That's a proud event, that's a milestone achievement, and it's a lifetime achievement of every Indian sports person. I heartily uh, convey my gratitude to all the stakeholders who are putting their hard efforts to get this event in India. And of course, I congratulate every Indian. I hope this dream will come true. Thank you so much. Hi everyone, I am very happy and very delighted to hear that 2023 IOC meeting is about to happen in our country and I would like to thank Sports Minister Sir, Ms. Ambani Ma'am and everyone who has worked behind this to make this thing possible and it is a great opportunity for our country and for all the athletes and para-athletes as well. I am here to express my gratitude and happiness towards bringing 2023 IOC session to India is a great opportunity for our country and I would like to thank Minister Bhatraji, Nida Ma'am and Abhinav for working towards this glory. And I can see it as a first stepping stone towards bringing Olympics to India. We can showcase our country and we can expect a great improvement in our infrastructure. So the entire world will be here and they will be discussing about Olympic moment and uh, we are ready for it. We are aiming for Olympics and it's a great news for each athlete and each coaches. I hope by then our academy athletes will be there and we are making them ready for 2024, 2028 and beyond. So it's a great opportunity for each one of us and I'm really happy about that. Looking forward for the great event. Thank you. मुझे बहुत खुशी है कि 2023 की जो इंटरनेशनल ओलंपिक कमेटी की जो मीटिंग है वो भारत में होने जा रही है और इस सब के लिए मैं सबसे पहले मिसेज जमानी को अनुराग ठाकुर जी जो खेल मंत्री हमारे और नरेंद्र बत्रा जी को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद देता हूं और शुभकामनाएं देता हूं मेरा भी जिंदगी का एक सपना था कि बड़ा इवेंट भारत में हो और मुझे लग रहा है कि वो रास्ता अब जल्द ही साफ होने वाला है और जो तेज की जो मीटिंग होगी उसमें ओलंपिक और पैरालंपिक का जो रास्ता साफ होगा भारत के लिए वो आने वाले टाइम में भारत में एक बड़ा इवेंट होगा और जल्दी हम देख पाएंगे भारत में ओलंपिक हो पैरालंपिक हो 
और ये हम सब भारतीयों के लिए बहुत ही गर्व की बात है दिस इज दिजल्ट फॉर द इलेक्शन ऑफ द होस्ट सिटी ऑफ द आई ओ सी सेशन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री वी है सिक्स एबस्टेंशंस दैट मीन्स सेवेंटी सिक्स वेलिड वोट्स द मेजोरिटी इज थर्टी नाइन ये सेवेंटी फाइव नो वन Mumbai is elected host city of the IOC session in 2023. Congratulations and uh, what a result if you are not speechless after this result with only one vote against uh, if uh, Mr. Zambani if you want to say some words you are most welcome and of course also Mr. Batra Thank you thank you very much president bark for the honor and the opportunity thank you to all my dear friends and colleagues in the IOC for your vote of confidence and thank you christoph sir miang and the entire evaluation commission for your support and guidance on behalf of 1.3 billion indians i thank you all for your faith in us and i look forward to welcoming all of you to our great nation this is indeed an historic moment for all of us the olympic movement is coming back to india after 40 years 